please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list hello namaskar and aadab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance in a lot of challenges that we face or opportunities that we face or prosperity abundance that we face or good or bad times that we face in life apart from the various placements raj yoga doshas and others in our lives in our horoscopes a very important entity is also the nakshatra that we are born in the janma nakshatra or the birth nakshatra the birth nakshatra is nothing but the nakshatra in which moon is placed at the time of our birth so moon being placed in a certain sign and we know the sign is divided into nakshatras at least two nakshatras will be there in a certain sign and maybe some part of the third nakshatra as well so you will always find that moon is placed within the sign in a certain specific nakshatra and that nakshatra becomes your janma nakshatra or your birth nakshatra it has a very strong bearing on the lives it has a very strong bearing on the impact on our brains or a mindset or on our thinking on our approach to life and to an extent even a purpose of a life and even to a career so the nakshatra will play a very very strong role in different play, uh, areas of our lives and in different virtues of our lives in different areas that are connected to career marriage business friendship and so on so to a large extent our mannerism our personality our characteristics will also be affected by the janma nakshatra and the nakshatra's personality apart from that the nakshatra lord becomes very very important very very critical for instance if moon is placed in the aries sign in your horoscope then moon definitely will take on the characteristics of aries or the aries sign will influence the moon will influence the third the thought process the thinking your ability of how you look at various uh, events in your life specially connected to emotions supporting others your thought process how you think and also how your creativity manifests itself because aries gives a lot of energy to moon it makes it more active makes it more aggressive also to an extent so aries sign will definitely play a part on its influence on the moon however we know that aries is divided into the ashwini nakshatra the bharani nakshatra and two padas of the kritika nakshatra so basis where moon is specifically placed within the aries sign that nakshatra will be the nakshatra of the birth so if moon is placed within the first 13 degrees of the aries sign you will be born in the ashwini nakshatra or moon is placed in the ashwini nakshatra or your birth nakshatra will be ashwini however if you are born in um, at the time where moon is placed in the aries sign but between 13 degrees and 26 degrees then you your birth nakshatra will be the second nakshatra which is the bharani nakshatra but if you are born where you are um, your moon is placed in um, in the aries sign but between the 26 degrees and the 30th degree then you will be born in the your birth nakshatra will be the kritika nakshatra now each of these nakshatras are ruled by different lords the first nakshatra of aries which is the ashwini nakshatra is ruled by ketu so moon is placed in the first 13 degrees so your nakshatra will be aries within aries the ashwini nakshatra but the nakshatra lord will be ketu if you are born between the 13 degrees and uh, 26 degrees um, when moon is placed between the 13 and 26 degrees then you will be in the nakshatra of bharani or the bharani nakshatra will be a jan nakshatra and bharani is ruled by venus so that will have a strong bearing on you however if it's a, it's kritika then it will be the sun so bearing which basis which nakshatra you are placed in that will have a strong bearing on your mindset your thinking even if you are born within a certain sign and the nakshatra lord becomes very very important why does the nakshatra lord become very very important the reason is because the birth nakshatra that whichever nakshatra you are born in that birth nakshatra as lords dasha starts first hence the first few years of your life whichever the dasha you are born in whether it's 
थ्री इयर्स लेफ्ट ऑफ द दशा सिक्स इयर्स लेफ्ट ऑफ द दशा टेन इयर्स लेफ्ट ऑफ द दशा द मोर नंबर ऑफ इयर्स आर लेफ्ट इन द दशा दैट यूर बॉर्न इन दैट मच बेरिंग द नक्षत्र विल प्ले इट्स पार्ट ऑन शेपिंग योर पर्सनैलिटी एंड द नक्षत्र लॉर्ड विल ऑल्सो प्ले दैट मच पार्ट इन शेपिंग योर पर्सनैलिटी आई हैव मेड अ वीडियो स्पेसिफिकली फॉर वट वट इज द रीजन यूर बॉर्न इन अ सर्टन दशा इट्स अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो Please watch that video. It gives you clarity on why you are born in a certain dasha and what it means uh, to be born in the certain dasha. There, I have explained how the first six, seven, eight years or whatever number of years are of the first dasha. That dasha shapes your personality. That dasha's lord also shapes your personality. So that is a more detailed video, specifically connected to why you are born in a certain dasha. This video that I am making gives you a larger perspective. of your birth nakshatra's lord and its placement and its situation and its condition so because the nakshatra shapes your personality the nakshatra lord shapes your personality any situation where the nakshatra lord gets debilitated or combusted or is in a spot of bother will also create challenges on how it impacts your mindset and in your upbringing so if your dasha lord whichever nakshatra that you are born in because that's Uh, dasha starts first that its lord's daksha uh, its lord's dasha starts first so whichever dasha you are born in its lord will have a strong bearing on your upbringing if that is in a spot of bother then you will have a more confused upbringing where you may be given a certain set of values or behaviors expectations from your parents however you may not very much agree with those you may not align with those and you may be somebody who may not be very very uh, aligned to those to to that line of thinking you may not put up uh, resistance in the earlier years in the first few years because your parents are saying something but you will find that as you grow older and older you move away more and more away from the values and the principles and and the um, and the guidances of your parents you become your more or less a own, own person it happens with everybody it's a natural process but it happens more with people who's the, uh, the dasha lord is combusted or debilitated which means the nakshatra lord is debilitated or combusted or very very weak so the influences of the society the influences of the surroundings does not play as much bearing on you as much as the nakshatra lord being being weakening which means that very very strong negative influences sometimes take over your mindset rather than the positive ones and that's why generally our parents will not give us any negative values or negative principles um, they will give us all strong principles but if you have to move away from those then the influence of the nakshatra has to be has to be much much more stronger and malefic influences will be much more stronger which means they disconnect you from how your family's principles or values will be or may they take you in a different direction they also as i said earlier may sometimes give you a very very weak upbringing in initial years where you are confused you may not keep good health the first 6 7 years of your, your life you may not uh, have very good experiences also whether in school or in health or uh, falling ill or injuring yourself or maybe movements in your life at that point of time or your family may not be doing very very well at the time of your birth especially if your nakshatra lord is both debilitated and combusted Uh, some help may have been provided in terms of benefits aspect in that or a good raj yoga being there or your parents horoscope being very very strong then it's a different story however you are definitely not have a strong um, bearing on even if your parents are doing very well uh, the its impact or the surroundings impact on your life will not be very very strong if your birth nakshatra or your nakshatra lord uh, is weak combusted or debilitated which means you may not be able to profit too much from the goodness that is given to you or the uh, you know the prosperity that you are born in you may not be able to profit from that much um, in no, in your in your initial upbringing you may or you may not be influenced by that much so the prosperity or the abundance that the parents have you may move away from it you may develop your own mindset you may want to be your own person and your dependency or your relation to or your alignment to prosperity of the parents you may not feel too much within yourself you may want to take chart out a different um, different path altogether so the it's very very important that because the initial years are shaping you 
the mindset is also shaped the second thing is because it directly influences the moon so if your birth nakshatra's lord is mars for example then mars will have a strong bearing on how you your, your how you think it will give you a lot of energy it will give you a lot of strength it will give you a lot of will power however if mars gets combusted or debilitated if mars is the nakshatra lord then obviously you will find that the energy to do things may not be there you may procrastinate a lot you may feel a little lazy also on the other hand if it's saturn that which is your birth nakshatra lord and saturn goes combusted or debilitated uh, or even retrograde then you will find that you may not be able to um, to agree to rules and regulations of society rules and regulations that parents want to uh, you know grow grow you up in that environment and um, you may not take very well to authority um, and you may you have a different mindset you have a different thinking and sometimes it also puts you on a path of clashing with your superiors or your managers at work if it's mercury on the on the other hand then your choices will be very disjointed sometimes you may take very very aggressive choices because we are very very sure sometimes the choices may be very weak and you will find that uh, the decision that you take uh, you know the decision that you take backfire uh, more often than not so depending on which is your nakshatra lord and what is the situation of the nakshatra specifically what is the characteristic of the the of the lord of the nakshatra obviously that will have a bearing on your personality your thinking and how they manifest what they are the karakas of if jupiter is your nakshatra lord and jupiter gets debilitated combusted or under malefic influences or in a malefic conjunction then your ability to take wise decisions your ability to do get higher learning and to be able to profit from the higher learning many times that is education that you get or even the higher degree that you get don't bring you much success you falter in your uh, ability to be able to get more out more, more success out of the learning or utilize your higher degrees to be able to get a stronger success in your career so career you may start off your career connected to the degrees that you have however you will find that very soon you will move away from the careers or that degree or that qualification that you have will not uh, play a strong part it will not help you much in your ascension or your growth or your elevation within the career so each of the planets whichever planet is your nakshatra dot if it gets debilitated or combusted it will have a strong bearing on your thought process in the path that you take in your values and upbringing because that's how it is that is the dasha which is shaping your personality your thought process and various opportunities that are created from time to time because the nakshatra lord itself is weak the influence of the nakshatra to shape your career to give you a certain path to give you a certain goal and to keep you on the path will be very very weak so sometimes you feel a little lost you feel very anxious and frustrated also how your career is shaping how you are moving ahead in life and sometimes you may end up having many many changes also in your job in your profile in your roles also because the nakshatra is not giving you strong one path or one tangent towards a certain career uh, so it's very very important that the nakshatra lord is strong in your horoscope it is well placed it is not under any influence because that it has a bearing over overall life and many many areas unlike if the 10th lord is combusted or weak or debilitated it will have a stronger bearing on your career if the 7th lord is combusted or debilitated or weak it may have a stronger bearing on your partnerships on your marriage if the 5th lord is weak then it may have a stronger bearing on your finances on the results from children however if the birth nakshatra lord is uh, combusted or debilitated then it affects a lot of other areas of your life now basis where it is placed which houses it is it rules obviously those will also create challenges if the birth nakshatra lord is the 10th lord and that is getting debilitated or combusted then it does affect the overall life but it will definitely strongly affect career if the birth nakshatra lord rules the second house and then it gets uh, combusted or debilitated in your birth chart then obviously your earnings or savings are affected your ability to save money and to increase your livelihood is also impacted if the event 11th lord if the 11th house lord is your nakshatra lord and that gets debilitated or combusted then your ability to to make your wishes and desires come true becomes very very weak you will find that many times your wishes and desires don't come true you have to struggle a lot you have to work much much harder to be able to get your wishes and desires fulfilled
सो फ्रेंड्स द नक्षत्र लॉर्ड इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द बर्थ नक्षत्र लॉर्ड सिचुएशन प्लेसमेंट इट स्ट्रेंथ इट डिग्निटी इज क्रिटिकल इन द हॉरोस्कोप and it's important that you be able to get the best results out of it for some reason if your nakshatra lord is debilitated combusted then see which houses it rules and what is the karaka of those houses say for example if venus rules the fifth house in your horoscope and venus gets combusted or debilitated then which is who's the um, then which planet is the karak of the fifth house we know that jupiter is the karak of the fifth house then you not only try and enhance the strength of venus by respecting the opposite gender by keeping your surroundings very very clean so that the nakshatra lord uh, get some strength however you also improve the strength of jupiter because jupiter is the karak of the fifth house so it is a double work definitely but the birth nakshatra is very very important the birth nakshatra lord is very very important so not only should you try to improve the strength of the birth nakshatra lord by by carrying yourself with a certain personality by sticking to ethics connected to that to, uh, to that planet or doing the maximum positive actions related to that particular uh, nakshatra lord but also of the karakas of that house so that you have double the strength because the nakshatra lord influence on your life will be that much more critical and more effort is required for you to come out of that tough placement that the zodiac has given you so friends everything is not to lose just because your nakshatra lord is debilitated or combusted or in a bad dosha or under bad aspects uh, or under a bad conjunction everything is not lost but you there you will find that you have to work harder to manifest the better results out of that and you will have to work on improving the dignity of the birth nakshatra lord and the karakas so that you can get better results out of your life so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me at the links given below at till some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide your friend signing off